Hi, Russ Gould at Inspire 2017. We've got a special guest who dropped by uh, this morning, uh, Edward Whitmore, or Ed. How are you this morning? I'm very fine, Russ. Thanks for having me. Oh, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. So you're with uh, ILWU, and I must be one of the only people that <laughs> don't know what that stands for, but for a couple of other people that might not. Okay, it's the International Longshoremen and Warehousemen's Union and Pacific Maritime Association Benefit Plans Office, and we essentially process uh, pension uh, plan applications and some medical benefits for our members. Okay, and is this your first Inspire? Yes, it is. Ah, what what uh, brought you here? Well, we're just starting to get into workflows, and I wanted to learn more about workflows, and I also know that Perceptive Content is going through a major release, the 7.2, I want to figure out, because we're at 7.1.3, should we upgrade and, and when, what should we do about that process? Mm -hmm. I'm going to a breakout session right after this to talk about that. Oh, good. So, you probably got a lot of paper that you're, uh, you're processing there. So, what are some of the pains that you guys have experienced that have kind of started you on this paperless digital transformation journey that you're going through? So, we have a, a couple of interesting challenges. One being that we were an all paperless and uh, all paper environment, and um, that poses some risks if we ever had a fire in the building, God forbid, um, we wouldn't, we would, it would take us years to recreate everything. So we decided we really need to start digitizing stuff. That's the first point. The second point is uh, some of our, our client is really the board of trustees of the, the trust fund and some of the management trustees want more access to information and more consistent access. So we have that capability uh, through perceptive content. And then um, regulatory compliance, we need to keep a lot of stuff and make it available to auditors and uh, Department of Labor if they should ever come by. So that those are some of the. Hmm. So a lot of times with paper-based processes, right? Manual intensive and we humans aren't perfect. Um, so in terms of errors within the process, do you see that as a, another potential benefit? And Absolutely. So one of the reducing things. Reducing those errors, I guess, excuse me. <laughs> what? <laughs> reducing those errors. Reducing those <laughs> errors. Yeah, you can't get rid of them. That's part of the deal. Uh, but we have a pension side and a welfare side, mm -hmm. and sometimes documents come, on, come in that need to be seen by both. Mm -hmm. And there was sometimes a delay between showing the, to the pension side and the welfare side. But with the workflow and the parallel processing, both sides can see it at the same time. So that really improves customer service. Mm -hmm. So what other things are you trying to get out of the, out of the conference? Uh, boy, I think that's it. Kind of thinking about the way forward and um, making sure we're doing the best practices in terms of how we're using the system, that kind of thing. Uh, ironically, we're one of the few people, I, I think, that isn't really on board with the uh, mobile devices because a lot mm -hmm. of our uh, customers are retired members mm -hmm. and they like the paper. So it's going to be kind of challenging to pull it away from them. So when it, once it reaches us, we digitize it. But we're not, we don't have a lot of retired um, longshore workers who are using their cell phones to send us information mm -hmm. at this point. So you mentioned compliance is, is one of the key things. Um, you know, that's ever changing, right? Um, sometimes slow, sometimes fast. So how, how is this new initiative of yours going paperless um, going to help? from a compliance perspective. Maybe you could share a little bit more with how it's helping from a compliance perspective. Um, so I think it just makes the information more available mm -hmm. to make sure that we have it. So if we ever get a request from uh, uh, an auditor or an attorney or the labor department, uh, we're able to find that information really quickly and provide it to them. Okay. And then were there any concerns from a, a HIPAA perspective or PHI or Absolutely, that's kind of a little bit outside of my area, mm -hmm. but it's definitely a huge concern. Uh, HIPAA and personal health information, PHI, we have to be compliant with those regulations, and some software is not, but Perceptive is. So. Thanks, Ed. Thanks for stopping by. Um, appreciate you sharing the information. I'm sure others uh, watching the video later in the interview are going to get a lot out of it. So thank you again very much for your time, and uh, for you, have a great rest of your conference, and for everybody else, I uh, hope you're getting a lot out of the conference as well.